Hi ladies and gentlemen, in my last tutorial I had showed you how to reply to an email. What I want you to observe is in this list right here, we have the email that I had sent out yesterday, and today that email, I had replied to it. When I replied to this email, this is the email that came in. So again, I sent this email to myself yesterday. It came in, I decided to reply to it, I did, and this is the email that came in to me because I replied to an email that I had sent to myself. So this is the reply. So now I have two emails in here. And at this point what I can do is I can go in and I can delete this email. And I actually had done this at the end of the last tutorial but I want to show it to you again. If I delete this, I'm just going to click on this X and let me show you what happens. Any email that I delete goes into the trash folder over here. And if I click on trash, you're going to see there's a few emails in here. One was a test message that Outlook sent to itself when I set up Outlook. And here's the email I just deleted. Now, even if you delete an email, everything goes into this trash folder. And typically, unless you tell it to do otherwise, everything you delete will stay in the trash folder. So you sent an email, you replied to it, you deleted the original email, it goes into the trash folder in case you need it. So you're not going to lose things unless you permanently delete things in the trash folder. And that's very essential to keep in mind because sometimes we might delete things and we didn't want to. They're not gone and that's important to know. So in the last tutorial we looked at deleting an email, replying to an email, but in this tutorial I want to send one other scenario for you. If we get an email, we can also, instead of replying to it, we can forward it. And if we want to forward this, maybe we want to send it to a third party. So all we do is click on forward, and what it does is, again, it takes the body, puts the subject in, but instead of RE for reply, it says FW colon. And now we just put in the email address. So again, because I'm sort of working on sending things to myself, all I have to do is start typing in my email address. Outlook has remembered my email up here and I can just click on it and hit send and now I've forwarded this email as well. So we can reply, we can forward. I want to just address one more thing. Right here where it says reply all, sometimes when you send an email you send it to multiple people and if we had hit reply all we would have replied to everyone that it was originally sent to. So there's a minor difference, but you'll sort of grasp this as you go along. So we sent an email, we've deleted an email, we've replied to an email, and we've forwarded an email. And those are really the fundamentals working with email in Microsoft Outlook. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about adding a signature to your email. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you very much. Have a great day.